Part of the problem with natural hazards is that they cause so much destruction and that they happen again and again. Hurricanes, earthquakes, landslides. How do communities come back after that? How do we use the knowledge that we gain from surviving to help us prepare for the next big event? I'm a scientist and I spend a lot of time thinking about the future of climate-related events and what that's gonna mean for people. I wanna use my resources to help communities face that challenge, but how? What do I need to learn before I can even start supporting communities? In 2017, Puerto Rico was devastated by hurricanes Irma and Maria, and the island also has a history of earthquakes. But through all of that, communities survived. In rebuilding, the communities with their wisdom and the institutions with their resources have not always worked together. I traveled from Colorado to Puerto Rico to join a small team of hazard specialists, scientists, artists, and filmmakers to share risk reduction strategies. It's 10.20, we are beat, we are pretty tired. Today we started working in organizing what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a workshop with the communities in Utuado. This is my contribution as a scientist to society. We scientists work in our topics, our disciplines, and we share this knowledge with our own peers. But also there's a responsibility for scientists to work towards the benefit and the farewell of the community. The people of Puerto Rico know what it's like to face the destruction from natural hazards and to use the strength in their communities to bounce back. As a team, we wanted to organize workshops within communities to learn from survivors what their needs are and their ideas about ways forward. If we really listen, maybe we can better direct our efforts. I'm really excited. We've been working up to this moment for a long time. We're starting to have participants show up. I always take a couple of deep breaths and basically just let things fall into place. Eh, para comenzar, usted va a ser un cubo. <laughs> she owns a funeral home, so she has expertise with boxes and everything. The idea of the Build-A-Box exercise is to get people working together to construct a simple object using these limited weird resources. Quienes participaron, levante la mano. Usted improvisó. Usted miró lo que tenía al alcance de su mano y usted hizo Usted construyó, usted resolvió. If we all agreed on one thing, it's that those who've survived a hazard event have an important perspective for understanding what their community needs. These workshops were our attempt at learning what people experienced and what they found important. Cooperación, empatía y empoderamiento. Una vez pasaron los movimientos, pues lo primero que hice fue eso, abrir mi puerta ir al cuarto de él, ver que estaba bien. Yo tengo muchos afiches de fiestas de lotobao, fiestas indígenas de Jayuya y eso. Los eliminé todos. Porque yo dije, en un evento más fuerte, todo eso me va a caer encima. We asked people to share stories with each other about the lessons that they learned and their ideas for a way forward. And we asked them to capture their thoughts and emotions with sketches. Así que recibí la alerta por mi celular y también eh, estábamos escuchando si había una alerta por el radio NOA que no se activó, así que no había tsunami. Y cuando las chicas se levantan, es una de las réplicas, entonces la mamá le dice que tiene que agacharse debajo de la mesa. Pero la mamá no se agachó debajo de la mesa. We asked for sketches and imagery to help guide a local artist's vision in creating a mural in the community center that would celebrate the community's wisdom and their hopes for the future.
We found great connections with the communities in Utuado. Now we're excited to take that experience and expand it to other communities. Some might see this as unsuccessful. We saw it very differently. This situation represented unique opportunity. We were there to engage communities on their terms. How? Try our best, make mistakes, and grow. Because of our first try, we could better learn to share, plan, and participate with this specific community. So that lesson came through loud and clear for us, and it helped us find a way forward. So I've got um, polyurethane varnish to coat. I've got a white primer, and if we need more, you know, I've got the. We can also get more later. Okay, right. definitely, yeah. Our second try in Morovis began with us sharing our vision of what we had to offer with community leaders, and then passing off control. <laughs> Well, this is try number two with Morovis and because this was organized by people within the community, like It's more a partnership rather than um, scientists or, you know, NGOs going to work with the community. It's scientists, people interested, NGOs working with the community as a partnership. We have an opportunity to really go through an iterative process with communities and help them get to the next level, but also help us as practitioners, as scientists. We know that reducing community risks is an effort for all involved. We learned a lot about what that looks like.